I know a little bit about the history behind this one, but for those who don't know, why Castle Crashing Tom's Beard? Because it seemed to play like a preview of Castle Crashers before it came out a year prior, and Tom had a pretty big beard back then. But uh, tell us, can you tell us the full story behind that game? Tom basically <laughs> made a commitment that he would not shave his face until Castle Crashers was released, and so Castle Crashers ended up taking a pretty long time, and so his beard <laughs> grew to epic proportions. Oh, and God. Yeah, we were. I think it was you that pitched that game. Yeah, we. uh, I think we were working on Pico Blast actually at the time, um, like a larger game, Mm -hmm. and we were just chatting and just threw out the like stupid idea. I don't don't even think I was serious. Like, hey, we should make a game about fighting Tom's beard. Um, (laughs) And and Lewis, (laughs) Lewis was like, yeah, sure, why not? And so we actually, I think we made that game in two weeks. Wow. And at first, there was a user named Stephen Coley, um, who's since kind of disappeared, but he he was involved in a lot of, uh, I worked with him on a bunch of different stuff, and he was involved with me and Lewis also. He he actually did the Tom's face art, didn't he, for Mm -hmm. that game, for Cast Crash in the Beard? Yep. Oh, okay. He drew that up, and he was, like, real excited about it. And and then I think he had something else come up. He wasn't able to finish art for it. And so uh, Lewis came on to do all the menu. Lewis took over, basically, and and finished everything. Uh, All the Castle Crashers animations, all the menus. I think I actually drew the backgrounds in the game, the in-game backgrounds. But yeah, it just it came together well. And then we we ended up sending Tom a request. We just wrote up a list of uh, lines to record. We're like, hey, Tom, would you do the book? <laughs> like, we can't tell you why, but here's a list of, <laughs> of things to record for us. And Tom and, says uh, yes to anything, apparently. So. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God. So I was really surprised. He got them back to us. They're super high quality recordings. <laughs> uh, and then we got Swain to do the voice of the announcer. That's one of the things working between me and Lewis, just like if there's stuff to fill in or needs to be done, like there's no hassle. Like we just pitch in where we can. And that makes it so that you don't get stuck on small stuff waiting for assets or whatever. Just throw stuff in there. A lot of times I'll do placeholders and sometimes the placeholders will end up being final art or <laughs> whatever. It, it all just comes together like it just works so yeah that was a lot of fun and i didn't at the time i didn't really think of it as like oh we're gonna be like promoting castle crashers but i think it ended up being kind of that for castle crashers like it was a it was something that people could play that were excited about it they could kind of spread the word got the yeah. uh, advertised the that castle crashers was was coming soon it ended up you know being good timing I think for promotion of, of cast crashers. Oh yeah. And of course that's where the pink Knight was invented was that was Lewis's design. And oh yeah. Yeah. And it that. ended up in the game. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Eventually we actually talked to the behemoth. They, at one point they were encouraging us to put together a version that a version of castle crashing the beard that could be included in castle crashers as a mini game. Whoa. But uh, we, that ended up not panning out. Um, but they did end up putting my name and Lewis's name in the credits of Castle Crashers. And then eventually they did the Pink Knight promotion for breast cancer and stuff and adopted this character officially. And now the Pink Knight is like one of the most popular Castle Crashers. <laughs> yeah, it's um, actually weird to see. Yeah, it. who would have thought? It's my main character. I only play the Pink Knight. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, which I thought that was really awesome. Yeah, it's a it's a really cool story. Like how cool how cool the behemoth was about embracing like this what could have been deemed as like copyright infringement. They're like, No, you guys are fans. <laughs> like, let's embrace you. Let's let's build off of this. Let's give you credit for Yeah, not pulling uh pulling what some companies that I won't name have been doing lately. Mm-hmm. 